in the eye by from Austin Lane. So uh, what was going through your head when that that moment happened? A little bit of deja vu, eh? but uh, I was lucky it wasn't too deep. So, uh, yeah, all good. Then the finishing sequence, uh, you dropped him and then finished him off with some uh, pretty hellacious grounding pounds. So just walk us through uh, the knockdown and then you jumping on him. Uh, because a lot of people thought, you know, Giant Simone and they're just going to wa walk off knockout. Yeah, you know, um, each other reach and I got him with the hook. I see that he's a bit rattled and hit him with the left hook. Man, he's, he's a tall guy, so it took a bit of power to get there. And um, Yeah, I, when I seen him falling, I was going to walk off. Uh, I see Mick Maynard in the corner of my eye. I was like, not this time, bro. I'm not going to get robbed of another 50K bonus. So went in, had to put that ground and pound for the crowd to roar and hopefully get that performance of the night. He was throwing a lot of strikes that we don't normally see from heavyweights. Like through that hook kick, he was throwing a lot of just real unorthodox striking that we see from the lighter weight classes. So when you were in there, did you were you prepared for that? And when you actually saw it in there, what was it like to see a heavyweight hook kick coming at you? I was like, what the fuck is that, bro? <laughs> at least for a properly out. <laughs> uh, nah, nah, man, I, was, I didn't know what he was getting, but yeah, it was all good. And you obviously called for the uh, the bonus. Uh, you said you've been robbed of it a few times. So this is just a, a general question. Do you think the UFC should kind of go to like just a finish bonus system in general rather than trying to pick two or three for these performance bonuses? Yeah, for sure. I think um, maybe I might just use that as, as a condition of my next contract because, you know, I... Everyone knows I come for fireworks no matter what, you know, like finish or no finish, I always bring the fire in. I, I wouldn't want a, a KO bonus. And final one for me, what do you want the rest of your year to look like? Do you want to get one more in there? And what, or what would you like? So, yeah, what would you like the next year? Yeah, um, just depends, you know. Um, I would like another one in later this year, but I've heard some talk that the UFC is coming back to Australia early next year, so... I wouldn't mind just upskilling some more and just really rounding up my game and making my case for that top 15. Easy. Hey, Justin. Uh, you talked about upskilling. Well, find your own bodyguard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you owe a thousand dollars to tie. That's your own fault. This guy. Junior, you be my bodyguard? Two grand. Yeah. <laughs> um, the... Uh, you, oh, you threw me off, mate. <laughs> um, from we just won wins tonight from West Sydney all the way through to West Auckland. Uh, how's your Avondale pride right now? And uh, three wins. Um, unfortunately, Ty just lost. Yes, yeah, through submission. Um, so it's three for four for the Usos tonight. Three finishes though. How's your Samoan pride as well? Man, you know, although Ty maybe I dropped that fight. You know, he's he's flown the flag high and mighty for us over the years, and I'm man, I'm always proud of him. So that, that, that's a shame, but um, man, I'm a Samoan through and through, no matter what. Seeing three, just seeing four fighters on the card is a big win for us. You know, there's only a small amount of us in this world, but man, we come to bang no matter what. And going back to the upskilling, will you go back to CKB for another training camp? Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I enjoyed my time there before. Um, you know, we have a small team here, and old mate over there works two jobs, so he's, he's, he's quite busy all the time, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'll go there definitely and upskill. You know, you can only get better and better. And I just feel like I'm finding my, my groove now. Um, congratulations again. I'll and good luck for the 50K. Sweet brother. I went to school with this guy. We were in the same class. Uh, did you pick on him? I was never a bully. Eh? Nah, I didn't even know you fought. I said that hybrid. Are we done? Uh, just right. one for me, uh, Justin. Um, there's talk of UFC coming coming to Auckland for another card. Is that one that you and you'd like to see you and your brother on? Yeah, for sure, man. That'll be another dream come true. Um, had many fights in Auckland, non-official, but um, yeah, that'll be a, my, our first official. Oh, my, my first official fight there. So that'll be another another great thing. You know, I got a lot of family there in Auckland. I wouldn't mind putting someone away there. And is Ty a, a fight you'd consider? Nah, never, man. You know, me and my brother and Ty, we, Carlos, Tyson, Pedro, we all been training together since we were all on center money, you know what I mean? Like, our wins, money, so, man, we're, we're just going to be there probably forever to support each other until the end of our careers, I think. Kia ora, congratulations. Nah, cheers, brother.